It's brew, brew, brew. Brewnomics. All right. Next matchup in round one. We are doing Iron Horses Quilters Irish Death versus Rogues Dead Guy Ale. Uh, this is the fan category, uh, the Iron Horse Irish Debt, that is, not just the fan category, overwhelmingly the number one fan suggested beer on here, and also making Iron Horse the only brewery with two spots on the bracket. Ooh, yeah, wowzers. And then of course the Dead Guy L, which is in our Amber Red Lager L, kind of the more generic category. Not that that's a generic beer, but it just kind of fits anyway. Tell us a little bit about the Dead Guy Ale. So the Dead Guy Ale, uh, this is sitting at 6.8% alcohol by volume, sitting at 40 IBUs, and has an average rating on untap of 3.72. Seating is number 11 number in 11. Number that 372 rating. All right, the Irish Death, uh, we have a 7.8 ABV, so <laughs> up there, uh, only 12 IBUs. Uh, 3.91 overall rating, and this is our number six. See? Uh, I gotta be honest, right off of the gate, just looking at the bracket, if there's one matchup I'm most interested in, like just a heavyweight slugfest that you know is gonna be a blast, this is it, yeah. right here. I, I'm already nervous, I'm excited. Let's see how it goes, huh? All right. Guess let's start with the dead guy. Here we go, cheers. What a classic, if you haven't had the dead guy, you've got to get it. Ooh, no. Smooth, Smooth, malty, complex yet simple. Mm -hmm. Got that caramel caramelization note to it. To the noise. I like that ABV at the 6.8. Uh, price range, I think between, you know, one, two, or three dollar signs, two. Um, well priced, definitely not overpriced. Rogue's always right within that, you know, very well, reasonably priced thing. But so is Irish or Iron Horse, so they're both right within that two category. Sometimes I think Iron Horse, how good their beer is for their price, is almost in the one category yeah, personally. They, they do the because they're price. so good and they're never overpriced. Agreed. Uh, so two of just the best breweries in my opinion. Um, all right, on to good old classic quilters, Irish Dead. It still wow. blows my mind how many people went Irish death, Irish death, Irish death on uh, our suggestions when we, we threw it out there on the social medias. Uh, like there were a, a few other beers that you know may have got two or three suggestions. If this one though, everybody. This is unanimous. Because there have been a lot of people that are like, I don't like beer, but I like Irish death. Because it's very interesting, it's technically a uh, what they just call it a strong dark ale, I think. Yeah. If I recall right. So, uh, again, one of those ones that can be in any category but deceptive. But man, whew, good roasty, malty, not quite coffee taste. It's not a porter because it's way too light. It doesn't sit heavy. That's part of that 12 IBUs on there. Can you tell me this is 7.8%? I can. you goddamn lie. I will. To your face. Mm hmm. I'd yeah. call your mother. Be like, your boy's lying to me. I thought you raised him better. I thought you told me to tell the truth. Let him know what's right and what's wrong. Dude. Man, because that's so good too. I am genuinely T O R N torn. Alright. Okay. I don't. This is tough, man. I am genuinely torn. Um, Price points are similar, taste profile, pretty close. It, it all comes down for me, what do I prefer most often? God damn it, I don't know. All right. Up, on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Well, Paula, come on in. Bring it in, buddy. So if we have a tie, which we haven't yet, we gotta have somebody come in, drink them both, and be the tiebreaker. I knew this was gonna be a tough one, man. Yeah. Uh, I knew it. Would you say you were ripped porn? Oh, God, that's a good one. A to the O. Okay. This is Dead Guy, right? Yep. Ooh. Oh, 
always a good drink to have. I really It's a good drink, always. Yeah. Smooth finish. This is Irish Death. I'm looking at you like this is some intense scientific research <laughs> survey right here. Like, what's the result gonna be? <laughs> there are always winners and losers. Oh! oh! Man! Alright! Well, that's okay. There's really no wrong answer on this one. It's a tough one. Thank you, Paul. Um, I'll pick that up for you later. Alright! Irish death with the win. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Iron Horse this, killing it, as always. Th this is really the toughest one because you could put almost any one of these beers against just about any other one, and there's a chance they're going to take them down. So, yeah. one of those first round matchups where you've seen, you're like, only one's going to go on. Yeah. That's the way it works. Sure. Good job, Irish Death. Big ass. Next! <laughs>